In this video, I will show you how to multiply polynomials using the lattice method, which is also known as the box method. The box method can be used to multiply any two polynomials. And as an example, I'll use the box method to multiply 2x minus 3 times x squared plus 5x minus 7. Let's begin. When using the box method, you begin by taking the terms in the first polynomial and listing them one on top of another. So here the two terms are 2x and negative 3. So I'm going to write them one right on top of another. If there was a third term, I would list it below the negative 3. But here there's just these two terms. And this actually creates two rows. And you should draw these horizontal lines if you're doing this problem yourself. Separate all of the terms that you've listed with horizontal lines. Above the top line, you're going to write all of the terms in the second polynomial. So here the second polynomial has terms x squared, positive 5x, and negative 7. Those go above the top line. And then draw some vertical lines to separate those terms. In this case, those three or four vertical lines that I've drawn create three columns. And it creates a box or a lattice. And inside of this box, there are six separate boxes. And inside each box, I'm going to multiply the terms that I see to the left and above each box. So in the first box, I'll multiply 2x and x squared to get 2x to the third power. Then I'll take a look at the next box. And above that box is 5x. And to the left is 2x. 5x times 2x is 10x to the second power. And then in the final box in the first row, 2x times negative 7, positive times a negative is negative 14x. To get the numbers that go in the other three boxes, I'll take negative 3 times first x squared, negative 3x squared, then negative 3 times 5x, negative 15x, and finally negative 3 times negative 7, negative times negative is positive 21. The values in these six boxes represent our answer. However, some of them are like terms. And before I call it my final answer, I'll combine the like terms. But in the first row of the first column, I have 2x to the third. And there are no other x to the third terms in any of the other boxes. So 2x to the third is one of the terms in my final answer. Now, I do see two terms that have an x to the second power. These two terms each have an x to the second power. So I'm going to combine those like terms. Negative 3x to the second plus 10x to the second is 7, positive 7x to the second. That's the second term in my final answer. Now that I've taken care of these first three boxes, I'll look at the terms that have x to the first power. And I do see, again, two like terms, two terms that involve an x to the first power, negative 14x and negative 15x. Putting those together, I get negative 15 plus negative 14 is negative 29x. And then finally, the only box I haven't accounted for is the box with the 21. Positive 21 is the only constant that I see in any of these six boxes. So it will be the last term of what is my final answer. The product of 2x minus 3 times x squared plus 5x minus 7 using the lattice method or the box method is 2x to the third plus 7x squared minus 29x plus 21.